Hey guys, Dandy Dan bringing you another Ebony video. Um, this one is about farming. Because thank God I can finally farm again. We have been at war with DDT, it seems like, two or three weeks. And, you know, it got ugly. There was tile hitting, which means it was really hard to try and farm. I was sending out like a few level ones. And if they got smacked, then oh well. And so now, as you can see, the teams are out. They're gathering resources. I've got my speed up on. Um, I actually also gemmed a few resources because I am building up to do my walls. Um, I actually want to see if there are any rallies available. That might be. Oh, not that one. Try this. Nope, I missed it. So um, now... I have a day or so left in my hospital. Now, if I go over here, I don't remember if I have any. Oh, I have one third. Oh, I got some three hour, so it'll chip it down a little. Okay, so we're down to 21 hours. Definitely need some uh, speed up action. You hear my crazy cat in the background. I'm going to throw a shoe at them to make them be quiet. Shut up, cat. Okay. So, all that said, we are farming again. Now, the reason this is mainly about farming is because of this guy right here. I log on this morning, go into my mail, and I see this nice mail from this guy, Farm2000. I'm sure that's not his name, but he's from Server41. And he made an account come on the server to tell me that he loves my videos. That's awesome. Okay. So Farm2000, you know who you are. And I feel like Farm2000 because I actually get to farm again, which is amazing because I was going to wonder how I was going to upgrade these walls, um, which, you know, I'm almost there now. I couldn't really get much over a million before. Um... So this is looking pretty good. Looks like I need to get some more iron. Um, but, you know, definitely can do it. Now, another great way to get resources for a big upgrade like that, if you have gems, and this is where the bounty cave does come in handy, is, you know, right here you see 1,800 for 5 million, um, you know, uh, 5 million iron. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I want to spend quite that much, but I do see what I could do. I don't... Oh, I could do this. Let's see. So I see a way to spend 800000 to get wood. And see, that way these can just keep on building like what they're supposed to. So I'm going to get this up to 800000 by doing individual. And then I'm going to come over here and use the black market and buy that million wood okay um now if i need more food like on the spot when i go to do this other thing you know i can do that like i said i bought some iron already i think i bought some stone um so now um i really just need like that builder and then i need to rake in some food real quick but you know if you send out like three runs for food they can come back with two or three million and then you're just not that far away. Now I'll collect all this other stuff just to see. Oops, didn't want all that food, but that's okay. Ah, I got more food. I didn't want to do that. Um, might have to build a few troops just to use that up. Or some traps. Um, but see, this will empty these out so that they can keep producing for me without... I don't know that these have a maximum capacity. We'll check that out in a second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to build my calves back up. Um, let's see if I do. That's an army camp. So I'll put in 12 hours. Honestly, I have no idea. Although that kind of number there looks familiar. 171. Probably should have looked at it beforehand. Let's look at a smaller one. Now, the resource field is coming along nicely. 
Um, this is one of the smaller ones to detail. Yeah, uh, it might be 12 hours. I'll have to keep an eye on it. That one's 153. It would be the first one to fill up. Um, but I think they do eventually fill up, so you can't let them, you know, like sit forever. Um, and that's kind of a thing because, you know, you're trying to store food there and whatnot. Um, now, let me make sure, because I'm getting ready to get a little shut-eye here, too. So I want to make sure that my speed-ups are running so that I can max out mainly my food. Um, yeah, I do need them again. So I'm going to go ahead and run them all. Um, and that way... They will be producing big time. And then I will also do an offering. First one of the day. Uh, and I was off all last week. So, well, off of the game, I guess. Um, I was at work at a meeting. Um, so I really didn't have as much time as I normally do. I don't have anybody imprisoned right now. So I can't, like, you know, use labor or anything like that. But all in all, pretty good. Uh, like you said, back to farming. Um, so we discovered that maybe there's a maximum to these resource tiles. And, you know, talked about how to use the black market to get loot for big upgrades as needed. Of course, that ties right back to your old bounty cave. Now I've got, when I was at the meeting, I had to get on here every day because if you miss a day, your rights expire. But I have seven days left. And it's $20 for a month. And it's pretty awesome because I'm still sitting on a lot of gems and I've been using them. So, you know, it's a really good thing. Um, some people complain it doesn't count towards the weekend packages that you get for the game. But for your money, it's a really cheap option to, you know, do some stuff. Um, so basically right now, I mostly just need food and a little bit of iron. And I think I'm in pretty good shape. And actually, I'm almost there on that. So I will focus on getting food. And by the time I do that, I should be able to do an upgrade. And then since we're farming again, I'm guessing that the Alliance will be doing boost days again where we send players $2 million worth of stuff. So I'm going to have to farm a lot to get a little jump on it so that I have my, uh, loot to send to the boost person. So all that said, that's what we're working on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Farm 2000, thanks for shouting out. And I will see you guys next time.